In part one of our Reef Beast episode, we struggled to get fish past the sharks, and not only did it cost us heaps of great fish, but loads of tackle also. We were constantly moving trying to get away from them, and after lots of persistence and patience, we managed to catch some great school-sized reds, big red-throat emperor, green jobfish, and more. At the end of the episode, I go searching for some new spots, and after hours of sounding, I find a new isolated rock covered in fish life. After quickly mapping it out on my Furuno electronics, we go back for our first drift and drop some baits down. The inline camera showed a large school of sawtail surgeon fish sitting in front of the rock, but underneath them were several red emperor which didn't look remotely interested in my bait. It wasn't until I drifted over the top of the rock that a red emperor came flying in and inhaled the bait in front of the camera. You know that cave? Yeah, it's a pretty gnarly looking country. Not a huge fish pool. Oh, Mac is on. Yes, Macca. Oh, yeah, he's yes. pulled it off the rock. Dad's, we're all got a three way hookup. Dad's got his out of the bottom now. He's got a fish on there. You! Brand new spot. <laughs> Giddy up. Yeah. Oh, I love these new little pots of gold. Looks really nice in the sounder. Feel alright, Dad? It's a red. Another schoolie. There we go, nice little 60 centimetre red. I'm gonna let him go. We've got a pretty good feed of him at the moment. If we get some bigger ones. But he's 60 centimetres, so he's, he's already reached sexual maturity. Around 50 centimetres they do that. I'll let him go breed a bit more. Where's your fish? It's a nice one, Dad. Mm -hmm. There we go, the rewards of finding some new ground. Sounding around endlessly, come across a new rock there, looked really good, drop down. Three way hook up on reds. How good's that, old boy? Yeah, no, it is. Better one, I think. He's, what he's we've got this morning. Better fish out of the lot we just got. Hopefully, there's some bigger ones there again. Let a couple of smaller ones go to live another day. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Good on you, old boy. He's just starting yeah. to get some black lips on him. Yeah, and they get a bit thicker too yeah. in the middle. A bit more round in the body shape. Instead of catching more reds from that spot, I've decided to leave it for future trips and head for a different area to see if we could troll up some Spanish mackerel. New Venom V Minnow, gonna have a quick troll for a mackerel. Yep, yep, they're on. <laughs> yep, that's them on the sounder right there. They're hooked up. Go, Maka. Here we got a double. Still in here. Prepared this time, not getting a bloody set of trebles through my foot this time, Maka. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Donga. Yes, Maka. Pretty good Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Just come back around that way for me, please, Dad.
What the hell's that? Those things flying in the air. What the hell is that? I see two. There's two things flying in the sky over here. Other than saying that we saw some UFOs, which technically they were, I'm guessing these were surveillance drones heading up the coastline. They're moving fast too. That is weird. What the hell were they? They disappeared. That's bizarre. Martians. There we go. Nice big Spanish. Thought I'd have a troll out wide. Put the new Venom V Minnow on. Got smashed pretty much straight away. He's a good size Spanish, that one. Absolute cracker. What would your guess be on that one, Greg? Uh, probably 15. Yeah, wow. He's a good fish. Nice Spanish, Macca. <laughs> Not a bad start. Go back around. I saw him on the sounder then. So get ready, and bang, she took off. How yeah, good. Oh. Bit of weight. Yeah, it does. He came in reasonably easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, he took, had an initial yeah, run. Yeah, it was a huge like, run there. Yeah. Went like a bat out of hell. See that lure? They dive nice and deep. No wire on that one. I've got wire on the other one. But he took the one without the wire, luckily. Didn't, uh, didn't teeth us. Bump us off. Let's go get another one, mate. <laughs> there they are. All the mackerel here, massive school of them. <laughs> it's gonna be on here. You're up, Gary. <laughs> oh, yeah, double hook up, man. Just fire up for us, please, Macca. Holy mackerel! Come on, boy. They are into that boat. That's a pretty good size one. Not, not small. That hook's only just in it. Watch out, Dad, move up this way. Move up this way, so Macca can come through and gas as well. Move him up. Not a bad fish. Look at that hook only just in it. Like, look at it. It's ready to come out of it. Maybe a shark, sort of. Jesus. Felt like a shark, got it over. Yeah, it had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Here we go. Holy snap. Wow, look at that. Far out. Nowhere is safe from the sharks. Look at them under the boat. That's huge. What? What's that? It's a whale. Minky whale. Big minky at the back of the boat, look. He's about to pop up. There he goes. Wow. Maybe that's what we did last night. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely munched. Come right up into the head too, eh? Oh, right. I wonder it went good. I think she had sharks hanging off it. Crazy. There's that Spanish the old boy got. He didn't want to hold his own fish up. Like you warn him out. <laughs> warn him out. He's had enough. Not a bad one. 
So that one I got got sharked. So we're going to drive away. Two Spanish is enough. It's a good feed. Pretty good fish. Bloody heavy. I wonder you didn't want to hold them up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go catch some reefies, I think. Some red baits down the old boy's gone mullet fillet so the gang hooks i'm going a cuttlefish maca is I'm going a yakka dead yakka so i'm gonna line these hooks up there we go ready to go three different baits work out which one catches a good fish Bit of car in here, so I'm going to come up forward of that spot to about here. And then we can drift back through it. You can see the rock's quite small, just an isolated little rock with some good fish sitting on it. So I'm now 67 metres in front of it. It's enough to compensate for this current. Turn the boat. We don't really have a breeze. If there was a breeze, I'd back the back of the boat into the breeze. So I'll just pull the boat up now in reverse. And we're good to go. Right, our boys. Right. Cuttlefish. Let's see what we can catch. Mac is getting hustle bites at the moment. It's really important you just let it sit there. Don't strike, because he's creating a fair bit of commotion down there at the moment, smashing that bait to pieces. And by leaving it sit there, if there's a red close by, he'll come over and have a look and hopefully muscle his way in. This is hugely important when you're chasing Red Emperor. Come on, eat that bait. Come on. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, got me. Unfortunately, when I hooked this red, the inline camera was shaken too severely to watch the footage. But I've paused a few frames of the video and you can see that a red had gone under a large piece of plate coral and come out the other side, causing my leader to break off just below the camera. Oh, I caught the camera back. Oh, phew! Oh, oh. Look at that, absolutely shredded. Thought we lost the camera then, but it's still there. Very lucky. Shredded me. Not very shy, this one. Hey, bud. With the fish shutting down on that spot, I decided to head for one of my favourite rocks I'd found many years ago. This mushroom looking rock has a wicked cave underneath it, and in the past has produced some big reds to almost 17kg. Extracting them without getting busted off has been a huge challenge in the past, and loads of big fish have been lost here over the years. This underwater footage of this spot is from a camera stand we dropped down many years ago. You can see amberjack and yellowtail kingfish around the base of the rock, with majority of the fish being sawtail surgeon fish that are hugging the rock out of the current. To the top left are some big reds roaming around and a nice reef jack comes out of the cave for a look also.
Eventually the camera stand falls over in the strong current and moments later we pull it up a little but this takes it straight into the rock beside all the surgeon fish, reds and slaty brim. The camera stand was stuck on this rock for several minutes, but captures fish scattering everywhere before a hammerhead shark moves through before we pulled the cameras up. This spot is lethal. It's the one that's got like a big mushroom rock, and it's got like a bridge, and it's completely see-through under. Oh. Man. Unless you're right beside that mushroom rock, they won't take a boat. Come on, Macca. You can do it. <clears throat> oh, he's yeah. got him. Go, Macca. Don't let him get you. Oh, you're going red in the face, Macca. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Get him, Macca. Get him. On the big gear. Old boy's on too. Get him out of there, Dad. Oh, he's gone sunset in the reel, look out. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! He's a good one. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Never get tired of that sight, Maka. That's right. You got him out of there too. Well done. You made me turn red in the face, but do it. You have to, otherwise you just cannot get them out. You going yes. too? Yes. Yeah, What's going on here, old boy? Didn't run. Still a nice red. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good fish. It's a big black lipper. There we go, the Hassa fillet. Set of going hooks. Hooked well inside his mouth. Beautiful big fish. Look at the lips on him. Some battle really scars great. down his face. That is cool. Yeah, boys. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> big That's what come for. <laughs> we finally found some. Look at that. Absolute crackers. Big black lippers. That puts a smile on anybody's face, I reckon. Come to a spot, we have caught him here before. He's got a wicked big mushroom rock with a cave that goes out the other side and they're very hard to extract. Not many you can get out of here, but the boys have done well. Giddy up. How's that feel, old boy? Yeah, that's great. You've had enough holding them up, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Cool. Yeah. Look at that. Good Fraser Reds. Happy that we finally caught some bigger reds, I drove away from that spot and headed for some deeper water to chase a few more pearl perch to top off the trip. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. Look at that. Oh, look at that for a pearl. There we go, nice big pearl. Getting up around four and a half, four point eight kg. Beautiful fish. Also got a little comet groper or comet cod. They're absolutely beautiful to eat as well. Not a bad drop. A couple more of these, and we're done. He's back, mate. Oh, yeah. Mac is on. A bit of pearly fun. Not pulling line, not here. Yeah. All right.
That's a lovely fish, mate. Mm. Lovely pearly maca. That's a big one. Massive pearl bone. Look at that. Look at the colours. The purple's coming out of its head. They go well at that size, don't they? They do. Yeah, pulled that one out of about 105 metres on the rod and reel rather than using the electric gear. Lovely fish, mate. He'd be every bit of 4.5 kg, I reckon. 4.8, somewhere around that. Mm, awesome.